Mr. S. R. Naden was a civil servant exemplar. It is therefore very fitting for me to lead a delegation of civil servants to come and pay our last respect to Mr. Naden. He served in the civil service with distinction, with the full commitment always putting the interests of the nation before self. He was one who was always prepared to take on very difficult challenges. We're all very familiar with the uh, Laju hijack incident. We knew how he defended Singapore's position in the US during difficult times. And throughout his entire career as a civil servant, he always served with a very human and common touch. Many of the people who worked very closely with him uh, shared a lot of episodes and stories about how he would be very caring as a boss, um, very paternal in his approach and always teaching and challenging um, the colleagues around him. Um, it's sad you will miss uh, Mr. Naden, but I think um, his example and his life uh, is a great source of inspiration to me and my colleagues in the public service. Are there some characteristics uh, you would hope for the civil service, civil service to emulate his, his characteristics? Well, certainly, uh, Mr. Naden, uh, as I mentioned, served always with that human touch, uh, always full of compassion, even when he uh, was the president. He would always make sure that he seek out those who are less fortunate, always understanding their needs and making ways to try and meet their needs. And I think uh, my colleagues in the public service can learn a lot from this example of his uh, so that we can better meet the needs of Singapore and Singaporeans. Oh, it's not too bad. Uh, by the way, our office is just across the road. Oh, it's about 45 uh, minutes to about 50 minutes. Uh, not, not too long. It was uh, quite a, a, a pleasant sort of way along the river. And they, uh, the organizers provided a lot of tentage and there were fans. So we were able to sort of uh, be held up, held in strategic areas where there was uh, relief from the elements. So it was, it was not too bad. And many, there were quite many delegations of my colleagues from other agencies who were just behind us. And so we, we all came because we wanted to pay our last respect. Can you give us an estimate, sir, of how many of your colleagues are here today? Oh, uh, I don't have the number of and I led a delegation of uh, about 40 to 50 uh, coming from the Treasury building and also from the uh, MCI and MCCY. Uh, just behind us, uh, Minister Ong Yi Kang was leading a delegation of senior officials from the uh, Ministry of Education. I'm told many other statutory boards and agencies uh, will be sending uh, uh, the of officials who all want to come and have this last chance to pay our last respect. I also want to uh, put on record my personal thanks to many of my colleagues who are working very hard out there, uh, managing the crowd, uh, managing the traffic, as you can expect, uh, uh, with a major operation like this, uh, and given the short time they had to prepare. I think uh, from what I could observe myself, uh, many of the arrangements were done very smoothly, uh, in a very friendly way, and uh, I think that's the spirit of uh, public service which we all uh, learn from Mr. Nathan himself. Thank so, you very much. Uh,